Hello everyone, my name is Wachara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2 Legendary Difficulty Let's Play Episode 81. Before I jump into anything, before I talk about anything, 9 of 10, the best-selling games of the week right now are mine. I kind of want to get 10 out of 10. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe we can put out another budget game or two. Might knock out uh, a game or two. Well, I guess just need to knock out one game. <laughs> need this and this to go up as well maybe a bundle maybe a game of the year edition i want to see if i can get all the top 10 mine and maybe i've had that already and i just didn't notice but i don't i don't recall having it right um alien invasion 12 sure game of the year edition okay so that's three new games it's good timing, too, for that. So holiday season's about to start. Before I do anything else as well, I want to buy out some uh, some more publishers here. So we want Ziera for $1.2 billion. Come on over. Accolode. Come on over. ZZI Games. Come on down. You're in the next contestant. on join. Oh, oh, that's the achievement. We got the achievement, folks. Might as well keep buying, though, right? I still have billions of dollars in the bank. So let's keep buying. Lavalogic. Ooh, Full Brick is actually open. <laughs> I like all these other ones that are closed. This, the ones with the lock symbol are closed. But as soon as you buy them, they reopen automatically. Um, One more. Leave me with a billion dollars. Hope there isn't, like, a crash or anything now. Because <laughs> that would be bad. Um, all right, so what's one that I'm pretty sure I already own? This one, so we go to Studio Settings, Apply Settings to All Subsidiaries, perfect. That way they self-publish games, unless they're really good, and then I have the option to publish them. And they only make games for my consoles. And yeah, achievement, shopping two or three by at least 30 embassy developers or publishers. The only achievement I have left is to play until 2050. I am going to... Look, I'm going to get to 2050. I'm not sure I'm going to make episodes until I get to 2050. But I'm going to get this achievement. This is this will also be the last Steam achievement for me, right? So, yeah. All right, so we're making Alien Slaughterhouse 14. We're making an add-on for Dragon Fantasy Online. Um, let's, okay, so yeah, let's get them to bug fix that for a little while longer, and then we'll switch them over. Um, yeah, everything looks to be going pretty well. Let's market the Fox Pro, get that back to 100 hype since it's the holiday season. And then we'll hype up those uh, those budget games that I just put out, right? Because they, they're they pretty low hype. And we lost a bunch of gameplay points on Sentinels of Fake. And actually, <laughs> so I just want to talk about this name for a minute. So all the names of the add-ons for this DFO2, I've been just taking the names from EQ2 expansions in order. And I'm pretty sure it's actually, it's not, so it, it Sentinels of Fate, right? And I changed it to fake, but I'm pretty sure it's not Sentinels of Fate. It's Sentinels apostrophe fate. <laughs> so I, I screwed that one up, I'm pretty sure, but not a big deal. And I'm pretty sure nobody would have noticed if I didn't say anything because, let's be honest, it's EverQuest 2. <laughs> and most people did not play EverQuest 2, just me. So if you if you're if you're binging this series, I do not recommend playing a drinking game where you take a drink every time I mention EverQuest 2, unless you want liver damage, because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Cause I, I can't help it. I can't help talk about my baby. Yes, I call EverQuest 2 my baby. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get this hyped up. We're trying to knock out Shadow of the Monster 3. We wanted to go down. Ooh, it's down to nine. Down to nine. Um, oh, for a second there, I thought my MMO got taken off the market. So this is the add-on I forgot to do a name for. <laughs> it's off the market. And that's okay. That's fine. Uh, let's do another game magazine, get it to 25, although that's kind of a waste just for two points. But, yeah, it's fine. And internet ads. And oh, wasn't actually done yet. And a TV spot. Okay, so 
they've managed to get rid of the bugs for that. So let's switch them over to bug fixing that since it has nearly 300 bugs. Um, it's going to need hype as well there, Looch. Don't forget about that. Ooh, Shadow of the Monster Tree down to last. It's down to 10th. Can we knock it all the way out? I think it'd be pretty cool if I could. All right, so yeah, I got a lot of marketing I want to get done here. My marketing team is pretty busy right now. That's okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And TV spot, get that close to 90 hype. It'd be like 88, 87, 88. And then let's get this add on. Sentinels are fake. <laughs> we'll just get it to 100 hype. So I'm not going to overhype it because I'm not confident the add on is actually going to be over 80% or over 90%. Sorry. I don't want to risk it. The Switch Pro is off the market. Okay. All engine. Okay, so that has a lot of bugs that need to be worked out. And it needs special marketing. Dragon Fantasy Online is going to need a little shot in the arm too, marketing-wise. This is going to need some work marketing-wise. I don't think I've done the pre-release for the press. No, I haven't. We'll overhype it. Well, maybe I shouldn't overhype it. But I'm going to overhype it. All right. Dragon Face Online 2. Return to Kunark. Off the market. Made over a billion dollars. So, yeah. When you look at how profitable my MMOs have been. Like, billion, five billion. That doesn't even factor in the add-ons. Right? Which is over a billion. Somebody licensed Tycoon Engine. $300,000. I mean, I'll take it. But. No. Oh, we got uh, some marketing people done. Uh, what am I looking at here? They're marketing, right? Yeah, so I just, just pulled them out of loops. They're already <laughs> put them in the support room, which I think they're mostly keeping up now. All right, so we already did overhype for that. Um, Dragon Fantasy Online, Psychomania Online, needs some hype. All right, so we got to wait for these games to be bug free before we release them. All right, so this one's bug-free, but we're waiting for overhype results. Okay, this one, let's just uh, polish it a little bit. Overhype results are a negative. Let's do a beta demo. Okay, perfect. And, okay, so that, yeah, we can, I can release both of these, right? Oh, so... That game that I wanted out of the top 10 is out of the top 10, but somebody released this Super Grand Prix in Candy Slush Saga 3. So I'm not going to have all 10. I don't know. Did anybody notice? Did I have all 10 for any stretch of time there? I don't know. I doubt it. I might have. Uh, but yeah, the holiday season was really kind to both my consoles. 500,000 units a week. This one's going to have 100 million units sold soon. Um, my free-to-play game, 3 million per week. Because again, that's per week, not per month. Um, 21 million, it's profitable, right? It made money. I wasn't sure if it was ever going to. It did. All right, so self-distribution. We'll knock this Candy Slush Saga out of the top 10, I'm sure. But not Super Grand Prix 3. No, oh, 95%. I guess I could have overhyped that. <laughs> Although releasing these at the same time, oh, we're waiting for... Yeah, we're waiting for that result. All right, so free update for alien invasions. Sure. Keep that going strong. Yeah, I mean, we'll set them to polish. It's not, not going to be polishing for long. We're just polishing to the end of the week. But yeah, that gets to 100 hype. Since overhype did not go through, finished development, self distribution, of course. $40. Let's put that up to 45 or wait, what size of game is this? Pretty sure this is a quadruple A game, right? Yes. So yeah, $45. It's going to be what we charge. 46? Now let's go 45. I mean, I could probably do 50. I could probably get away with 50. Ooh, maxed out on the engine features and almost maxed out with the Y box. Those are both good things. 98% uh, is nice. 
and that's where Game Pass. My Game Pass is actually not super awesome right now. It's only four stars topicality. Just because my MMOs aren't on it, or the add-ons don't automatically get added to the Game Pass, and so much of my time is spent making add-on or MMOs. Um, and I don't think I have a plan for my next game. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make an MMO add-on for the original Dragon Fantasy Online. Let's go with a different subtopic. Let's go elves. I know I have zero stars in that, but that'll be fine. Not a big deal. We'll call this Elven slash Assault. No. A-S-S-A-U-L-E. Look at that. Luch can spell, it turns out. It's a, it's a talent. What can I say? I'm blessed. Um, yeah, everything looks good. Add a few features. That weren't in there because this MMO was so old. It's been out for 813 weeks, which is like 16 years. <laughs> it's It's been a while. It's been a while. But it's still, I mean, it's bleeding subscribers right now, but it still has over 8 million subscribers, right? Like, that's that's really good. Um, Anything need a demo? This Game of the Year edition could go for a demo, I guess. And we're going to polish this and polish... And polish. And polish till it shines. And this group, of course, is going to bug fix. Nothing to research. I don't know if there's ever going to be anything to research again. Like, I could potentially just fire all these people. But on the other hand, it's not like I have to worry about money. Right? So I'll probably just let them ride. Just in case. Just in case something pops up. And that could go for a demo. And... Uh, that could go for a demo. Ooh, Super Grand Prix is almost out of the top 10. Can I get it? Can I get the entire top 10? Maybe this little boost in hype for some of these will get it there. Wasn't there something really low here? 26. Oh, that's the one I'm currently making. 43 for that. Is that close to being off the market? War Wizards? Yes, it is. It's been out for 88 weeks. There's no point in hyping that one up. With the Super Bundle. Yeah, Super Bundle could go for some hype, though. Let's get that hyped up. Okay, Dungeons of Dread. 17, 16, 19, 6. Those are pretty good demos, though, for the most part. And a little TV spot. That'll get us to, you know, mid to high 80s for hype. And Elven Assault. Let's go. Which is right here. Uh, radio first, Looch. And then internet ads. And then, of course, TV. Ooh, 25 extra tech points. Okay, this team is not doing anything. So what type of game am I making next? Real-time strategy is a trend for 53 more weeks. But I just made one, right, very recently. So we're not going to do that, obviously. Um, Duel of the Wizards is my most neglected IP at the moment. That is a platformer. So let's uh, update my platformer engine, or jump engine as it's called. Get this tech level nine stuff in here. Pretty soon though, all these engines are gonna be updated and I don't have to worry about it, right? Cause I'm kind of thinking that there's not gonna be any more engine stuff. I don't know. I've never played this late. I don't know what happens tech wise. I've never, this is by far the latest I played. I think like 2025 is the latest I've gone before. It maybe even wasn't that long, right? It was a couple of Let's Plays ago. I've definitely never gone further than this, you know, on my own. Now, the vast majority of my playtime in this is <laughs> for Let's Plays or streams or multiplayer with viewers. And if anybody's interested in playing multiplayer with me, uh, sometimes we organize those through my Discord. Links in the description down below to that. You can also find a link to my Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. I could not do this without them. Um... Literally, <laughs> although even with my patrons, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. But um, if you enjoy my stuff, you do get uh, early access to my videos if you're a patron. And you get, of course, uh, an ad-free experience on Patreon if that's something that matters to you. So let's overhype this. We did our pre-release for the press. And because I did a big advertisement, you know, right in the middle of this video. I'm not going to add any mid-roll ads. 
So if you see a mid-roll ad in this video, let me know in the comments because I'm telling I'm going to be telling YouTube specifically to not add mid-rolls. And I think they listen when I do that, but I'm not positive, right? I'm not positive. Um, all right. Oh, and hey, hit the like button too if you're enjoying stuff, obviously. All right, so this is almost done. Give up to the end of the week. Oh, no, fan merchandise sales are down. I don't even make fan merchandise. Yeah, 70 to 90, that's to be expected because the MMO is so old, right? So any add-on is based off that old tech, right? I, it'll be, I'm going to say 88 is my prediction. Well, maybe lower because we didn't have any stars and elves. <laughs> that's not going to help. Nope, still 88, okay. So that's good. And they're working on that. So we can do develop a game, sequel, Doom of the Wizards. This is probably my lowest, my least popular IP that I actually continuously actually work on. Triple A. Can we get away with a triple A game again? I wonder. Possibly. Beauty and the Monster. Uh, we're gonna do a manufacturer exclusive here. Balrog Pro, Fox Pro, turn the languages on. Yeah, maxed out and all this these engine features is, is nice. That's huge. That'll definitely help make this be a good game. All right, so how many features? 45 and 50. Yeah, so we're gonna do triple A. I mean, I could cut five features, five features and make it double A, but yeah, that would be too much. That would be too much. And of course, we're gonna market this. Oh, 50 hype, only 50, right? Usually we come in with 60, but that's because it's, it's Duel of the Wizards. It's it's a less popular um, IP of mine, right? It only had 1.7 stars, but maybe this will win game of the year or some awards and that way that'll be boosted up possibly, right? So yeah, so for anybody who's wondering IP value, um, Winning the Endgame Awards is big. Gold records helps, um, obviously, and platinum and diamond records help even more. Those are your main ways of getting IPs. Um, like, if you just make a game and it doesn't hit a gold record and it doesn't win in any of the end-of-the-year awards, you might get, like, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, maybe, um, IP value, but that's going to be it, right? You're not going to get any more. Oh, look at that. It happened. I don't know. And maybe it happened before, but I'm dominating the weekly charts. Top 10 are all me. Top 10 are all me. Weekly charts. Top 12. The top 12 are all me. Okay, yeah, I'm dominating, obviously. I mean, <laughs> that's nuts. Um, Can you see... Wish there was weekly console charts, but if, if you're on historical console sales, like which I am, doesn't mean a whole lot. Oh, Balrog Pro is about to go over 100 million units sold literally in two weeks. It should do that. Yeah, this, this run's going pretty well. <laughs> and the Fox Pro also selling very well still. 18% market share. Balrog Pro is 12 Point seven, so almost thirteen percent market share. Um, ooh, this MMO is losing users, even though we released an add-on relatively recently. But I mean, thirteen million <laughs> subscribers—it's hard to maintain that, right? I should probably buy this IP, right? Just to say I have it, because I have like the next what seven on the list. And Alien Slaughterhouse is close. Bojack's experience is only there. Lead Dead's only there. And then, yeah, you got to go way down. Oh, it's not even on the list. Duel of the Wizards isn't even on the list. Then Civ City. Like, Civ City, a single game, it got 0.7 IP, but it won Game of the Year, right? Or it might have been graphics or sound, but it won some Game of the Year award. And it got a gold record and a platinum? Wait, which is higher, diamond or platinum? I forget. I think... Platinum, then diamond, I think. 
Yes. So it got a gold record and a platinum record, but not a diamond record yet. If it gets a diamond record, I think that IP goes up another like 0.1 or 2. I think. I'm not positive. I know a lot about this game, but I do not know everything about this game. How is Alien Slaughterhouse 14 selling? All right, let's just minimize these ones that are add-ons or budget games or Game of the Year editions. Yeah, only 200k. That's not that good. Honestly, I know it's not the sum it's not the summer slump. It's also not the holidays, but or Wizards Fight Classic. So I mean 17 million for a budget game. <laughs> Alien Slaughter is 13 classic. How many um budget games have I put out recently? Am I close to having another bundle? I don't think so. I'm gonna say there's only gonna be like two or three on this list. Oh, well, four, so we're getting close. Unless maybe we can get five stars with just four. No. So as soon as one more comes off the market, we'll do another bundle. I like to have my bundles be worth five stars. All right. Um, I'm going to assume some of my MMOs probably need some hype. Dragon Fantasy Online is down to 74. Definitely needs some hype. DFO2 probably also needs some hype. But I'm just, I'm guessing. Yep, 77. Definitely needs some hype. And let's do a free update for Elven Assault. And now let's think about what our next game is going to be. And then let's do another add-on for Cyclomania, probably. Yeah, don't even really need to do that quite yet. Oh, no, it's gaining subscribers now. Huh, that was weird. That was a weird week. Super Bundle is off the market. How close are my servers to being full? 98%. So I'm getting close to needing this extra room. Right, this extra server room. Not quite there yet, but it's going to be needed. Um, all right, so what are we making here? Duel of the Wizards 8. Release the press. All right, and they're not doing anything right now. So, Zombie Hordes, Bo Jackson in the park baseball. Yeah, let's do Zombie Hordes, which is, God, what is Zombie Hordes? That's a survival game, right? Or there's a couple different ones, Zombie Horde Survival or just Zombie Horde. So either a sim or a survival game we could do in that IP because it's been spun off. So let's see what's more popular and or saturated sims. Well, sims are the negative trend. <laughs> um, so it looks like it's going to be survival. Survival is not super popular, but it's also not saturated. So yeah, survival it is. So let's update that survival engine. Nope, not a new engine loops. There you go. But like I said, I don't know if there's any more engine features coming. So eventually, I won't have to update the engines anymore once I get them all updated. So I should probably try to just start getting them updated, like if, if this team has spare time. But as long as I have three MMOs on the go, which I probably always will, I don't want a fourth. I feel like that'd be too much. It'd be too many add-ons. But if, if we ever get to the point where we pull DFO off the market, we're going to make, you know, another one either cycle mania online 2 or dfo3 or maybe a new ip right yeah lead dead 9 still doing well i gotta get an update for that out at some point too right, and overhype duel of the wizards 8 overhype did not work that is fine a lot of commission work we could get through here and my cash on hand is back up to 3.6 billion <laughs> Almost already. That did not take long. 80 to 100. Let's just let them polish quickly. Still the end of the week, probably. Right there. Summer slump, unfortunately. Never fun. Summer slumps are never fun. Self distribution, of course. Oh, oh, I don't have the top 10 anymore, but it's a subsidiary that I own. So, all right. So, this was only a AAA game. So, we're going to charge 40 for it. I think that makes sense. No experience gained because there's no experience to be gained. And I'm expecting a 98 here. As expected, although only 92 for controls, 95 for sound. So that's not great. All right, so survival. We want to do an MMO add-on. No, I can do Cycle Mania Online add-on soon with the other with the other group. So sequel. Zombie Horde Survival, 8. Uh, what do we got for a license? 
Do we have a license to drive? We do not have a license to drive. Let's buy a license to drive. There is none for survival. Oh, there's one, but it's like one star. But hey, one star is better than zero stars. Is it worth the money? Possibly not, but whatever. We're going to go multi-platform for this one. Balrog Pro, Box Pro, um, PC, 169 million. Yeah, and the Y box. Ooh, the Nintendo MX is getting up there, 96 million. And we'll go Y box for now. And I mean, technically, the Nintendo has more than the Box Pro, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to put them up for my consoles, right? Obviously. I'm going to support my own consoles, especially now that they've proven to actually be profitable, which was, which they weren't <laughs> for a time. And turn on everything here, which there's so many things. It's, <laughs> it took a minute. Well, not a minute. It took, it took a few seconds. And away we go. All right. Market that up right away. And then we'll come back and see what else needs some hype. Uh, well, that needs hype, but that's not the game that I was looking for. It's right at the bottom, Luch. Alphabetical. It's going to be at the bottom. Zombie. What well, letters that start with? It's going to be at the bottom. You know what's funny? I'm scared to say that letter because Canadians say it different than a lot of other countries and people make fun of me. <laughs> so I'm not even going to say it. You know, that letter that that finishes the alphabet off. I'm not even going to say it. Ooh, no, not 32 extra bugs. Whatever will we do? Oh, they're gone. <laughs> My bug fixing team is very efficient. Nice early patch for Duel of the Wizards A. Do we want to let that cook for a bit? Let's let that cook for a bit. Let's do another Alien Slaughterhouse one. It's kind of, it's doing better, although Summer Slump's going to obviously hurt it. Eh, it's still 200K. Nothing wrong with that. Like, absolutely nothing wrong with that. And there was a game here. Yeah, Shadow Chronicle. Get that hype back up a bit. How are my consoles doing for hype? Of course, the the show, the Mad Games Convention is about to hit, so there's no point in advertising those right now, right? Because that'll kind of take care of that for me. Um, Civ City, let's get that a boost. Ooh, how's Lead Dead? How's my free-to-play game doing for hype? I have not checked that in a while. Oh, it overhype it worked, so it doesn't need the hype. Does not need the hype. All right. Um, is it time for a Cycle Media add-on, or can I do something else first? Eh, it's it's getting there. It's at that point that I could go for an add-on. Well, this one I'm starting to struggle come up with names for because it's like this is what my the eleventh one I've done. All right. Um, let's see. Is there anything? Goes for a, a, a an online racing game, extreme sports, fire department, <laughs> Cycle Mania Online, <laughs> Fire Flash, not Flash Fire, Fire Flash. Apparently, it's got all the features that it needs, and away we go. So that's going to need some hype, obviously. Starting with the radio. Because I'm sure a lot of people still listen to the radio in 2031, right? <laughs> Does anybody listen to the radio in 2023? Like, my dad does, I guess. But my dad also doesn't buy video games. My dad doesn't even have a cell phone or the internet at his house. Um, all right, so what needs hype? Game of the Year edition, sure. Uh, drink Face Online, no, no. Uh, drink Face Online 2. Second way in the line, yes. And Duel of the Wizards, Silver, Zombie Horse 5 Platinum. There we go. And my two consoles. And that'll get them pretty close to 100 hype, I believe. But that is why I didn't bother hyping them just a couple minutes ago, right? Uh, 92 and 95. I guess that's not 100, but that's yeah, close enough. And a TV spot for Second Way in the line. My dad doesn't even have TV. So my dad, my father, Arnold, I love you, but he would not see any of this advertising. Well, he might. I guess he listens to the radio. 
He doesn't even, I don't even think he gets the newspaper anymore. I don't know where he, what he does for news. I guess he just doesn't get the news. Anyway, Luch is officially getting very sidetracked. I guess this video is 30 minutes old. That, that does happen. <laughs> All right, so let's switch the bug fixing team over to the MMO add-on. Because they tend to get more bugs, as we know. Um, so what needs marketing here? Didn't we just do a TV spot for Fire Flash? Or did they do the wrong game? That was weird. I thought I just did that. All right. Pre-release for the press for Fire Flash. Overhype for Fire Flash. Or did it lose? Did it lose hype from that event? Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Overhype did not work, so let's get a... Actually, that might be good that overhype didn't work. Honestly. Oh, my voice is, my voice is going. My voice is going, folks. So, you know what? That's telling me to, to end the episode. It's over 30 minutes. I know it's just a little bit shorter than I've been doing lately, but not by much. Hope you enjoyed the episode, though, folks. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.